Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. Just me, Betty. Delson. Would you put the stapler down? Seriously. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the big to-do at the Longhouse? Um, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight, but you look amazing. It looks great on you. Seriously. What were you doing up on the roof? Hmm? Nothing. Just... Were you up to mischief? Come on, I know you're in there. So just come on out. Or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. You're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Shoo, shoo! Shoo, get out of here! That was close. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. And the plan is working perfectly. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? 
misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world, and while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent, you're trying to cause... assert your talent. I mean, what the Why hell are you always even do this, Reggie? Why well, don't you just let me be who me. I am? Tell me what big bad if scary you listen, shit you're gonna share us from. It to you. Really? Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. Anybody hear me? How's the... Uh, holy shit, Ooh. dude. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you all right? Oh, hey, let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Rich? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? Oh God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! What is going on? Reggie! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. You get out there. There is a bot, so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay. Come on. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't. Just promise me you won't do that. Hey, hey. Just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? But it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Else is a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not... Drive hears about you, there's gonna be a panic. Fine, go. Control the mobs. Right, I'm, I'm coming back with help. 
See if Betty's in there with the bioterrorist, and be careful. I don't know what those freaks are capable of. Yeah, those freaks. Vents. Good to know. Not good. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty, where are you, Betty? Spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty. You gotta get out of here, lady. Stay away from I'm me. I'm trying to help Don't you, lady. Stay away from me. Stop. Stop. Tell them. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit. Uh. Betty, I'll explain later. But you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was... Unstoppable until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. But that also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear. Why? You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of run for your life. And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you. I'm not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. Stay you peace coming. And she knows I'm on to her plans. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes of diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you, and she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Listen, just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Oh, Henry. 
I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Oh, um, no, he didn't... he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life-and-death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy. I've got rights. And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened no, in there. No, Betty, don't. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? I'm a conduit. What? I said, I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from, from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Telson! Ah! So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. What's going on here? Miss Augustine, we think they turn the log house into a hospital. Augustine, head of the Department of Unified Protection. As the DOP lockdown of Seattle entered, 
have I been out? Even though there is still no sign of any progress, we'll of course continue to follow the story and we'll have the very latest for you coming up. For now, I'm Charles Sandall, US TV News. Nick, man, what the hell happened? Oh my God, how could anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? And no one could stop her? Betty. Nelson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, how did you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly pig. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. It's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep. Because I need my rest. So that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. You're gonna be fine. Really? Mm hmm. You see. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's gonna take more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? All right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle, and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait. What? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man. I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie. I did this. 
and I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only... The only way it's kidding out is with the same power. I get it. Which means... We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, uh, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero, what, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dale, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? Shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this. Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely... Are you kidding me? This is amazing! <laughs> this is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not going to stop this bad boy either. Man, this is like a post-apocalyptic Vegas. Oh, this must be the mothership. Delson? Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep. New. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, no, no. Us... This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. Well, this is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? That's not... Right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go need... play Super Cup, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. Okay, yeah, that could definitely be habit forming. But who's still using that? Huh. Maybe I just need to refill the smoke. Good to go. Yeah, this 
should do the trick. I need you up here. Dude, you will not believe what that beeping was. Let's get up here, okay? I found a bus full of relief workers that's stuck. I'm trying to convince them to just abandon the bus. They don't want to leave all the medical supplies on top. Well, just tell them to hold on. I'll get the bus unstuck. Nelson, I know what you're thinking, and don't. Dude, I just took out a fleet of quadcopters. I think I can dig out a bus. This is gonna take forever. There's gotta be a faster way. I am unstoppable! Delson, I told you not to- I'm sorry, Rich. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroics. Delson, I'm not- Ah, lost you. I have to hit the mute button. Okay, looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. Nelson, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. This is one of my, like, Rosa Parks, and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go! Sir! Just give me a second! Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. on the GPS tracking on your phone, in case we get separated? Oh, you mean like, right now? Attention. The scheduled decommission of the 520 bridge, by order of the DUP, will begin shortly. All vehicles and individuals are ordered to... Huh. That sounds like useful information. Nelson, I got the aid workers across the DUP, clearing the bridge, coming back for you, so... That's you there? What's going on? Hello? Hey, hey, you guys need any help? Oh, shit. A bioterrorist. Hey, hey, it's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. <laughs> hey, hey, look, man, I just wanna get through the tunnel.
Okay, okay, I give up, okay? Just don't hurt me! See? We're not all monsters. Spread the word. just happened? <laughs> Reggie? Oh man, answer me! Oh my god. This was a bridge? the shot. Okay, Cosmos, keep them coming. <laughs> okay, okay, easy. Not a good time, Betty. Okay. You just be careful. And have fun. Okay, I will. Bye. <laughs> Hold still. Here we go. Almost across. Double bridge. That pitching army, huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Check it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. I can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, 
For all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal bioterrorist. So. Normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We I can did. take these Look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Listen, promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Are you really worried about this? Look, these DUP guys may not have the same level of power that you... that natural bioterrorists have, but the government infused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. Well, you have just officially ruined my Seattle vacation. How long did you say I was out for? One week. Wow. That means the DUP put all of this up in... Yep. Oh, they've kept busy. Once we're through, I'll check with a couple of my cop buddies, try and get access to the police databases. In the meantime, I need you to just lay low. Might spook them if I show up with a bioterrorist. Okay, boss man. Registered firearm. I'm a police officer. Hey, so won't let me on his bus, won't let me meet his friends. hit the spot. Separated. Are you okay? 
Me? I'm fine. Dandy. Uh, just like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got something. I come in peace. Return to your homes immediately, or we will open fire. Hey, what the hell, man? You're supposed to be protecting them from me. Nelson, got access to the Seattle Police Database. Turns out, the UP has eyes and ears everywhere. Well, let's gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. Not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movement. Mobile command center, got it. So what exactly does one of those look like? Well, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communications gear on top. All right, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. OK, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. If you blow out enough of those, or should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels, got it. Woohoo! Man, that feels good. Tom's. Short and sweet. You find the main power core? It should be on top.
must be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. That's you, big fella. Oh, crap. Well, did it work? Uh, no time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. These guys are obsessed with me. 